Some people have asked me how I managed to keep my planes looking so nice and uh, I'll, I'll give you a close up look at them so you can see the care, attention and detail that's actually gone into preserving these aircraft. Well, we've got the flying trainer that's been the subject of many of my videos, I use it as a flying test bed and I'll give you some close ups so you can just see the technology that goes behind this, this particular plane. Now down here you'll see the, the happy face tape that holds the fin on, it's absolutely critical, it's all a little bit like this, that's aerodynamically designed to balance something or other. And you'll see that this here, and the elevator, she's quite good, she's a bit broken through there, but that doesn't really matter. And I think the covering is actually starting to come off the fin in places, yeah. Who'd have thought that with a Chinese ARF, goodness me, it's a surprise. Now, we move up here, you can see it's so old that the red has faded, faded almost completely in it's not a hole, there's a bit of tape on that, because I don't know what happened there, but anyway. Um, the engine spits plenty of oil and rubbish, and that's actually just 2% castor in the fuel. Uh, the rest of it's synthetic, but it makes a bit of a mess, and it's soaked well into the wood of the ailerons here. In fact, if I tip it upside down, you'll be able to see, all soaked underneath, a little bit of film coming off there as well, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a bit of a shock, really, isn't it, seeing all this? Now, take you around the front of the model, the glamour end, and... Here you can see the checkerboard film, but I'm afraid that's coming off too. And down the side, I've put some nice purple, but it's coming off too. And underneath, I'll give you a bit of a look. You can see, oh, that's coming off too. Um, yeah, that's where the old undercarriage used to be. And the tips are a bit, I don't know why the tips are wearing out. I can't understand that. Um, you can see the oil is soaked into the tail at the back. It's probably going to break soon. And... Yeah, carbon fibre undercarriage. Don't really need that, of course. Not with all those perfect landings. So that's the flying trainer. My Concours d'Elegance model. Won many trophies for good looks. And then, whoops, new model box. Then we've got my GB profile. Let's go and have a look at that. Recently I've spent no end of money um, beautifying it. As you see, it's got the custom sign writing on the wing there. And uh, sponsored now, sponsored model. You can see, sponsored by rcmodelreviews.com. Um, I'm old, I forget quite often, so I had to put that on there just for hovering, just to remember which way the thing stands up. And, uh, yeah, there's been a little bit of damage, but it wasn't me, you see. It was, uh, Lance did that with our hover combat. There's a video on YouTube you can watch that particular impact. And, uh, one beautiful thing about this model, so a lot of people don't appreciate, is it's a kind of a kinetic sculpture. Now, um, if I hold it up to the sun, uh, you can't really see, but if I shake it, you hear that noise? That spits inside the model. It's actually quite broken. Inside the wing, all the ribs are smashed. And uh, yeah, it's not in good shape, but I try not to stress it so it doesn't matter. So those are my two favorite models. And they're, uh, yeah, beautiful machines. Any questions, just fire them on the bottom of this video and I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you want tips on how to build your models to the standard and how to maintain them so they look good all their life, just email me.